Hey, I'm the Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Motorsport Manager, episode 75. At three quarters of a century mark. And we are at Spa from Kershaw, aka on here, the Arden Grand Prix. It's currently practice mid part of the season here. And I'm going for an aggressive strategy in this race coming up. First, we've got to finish up practice and sort out our car setup for the race. So we're up to 90% already after just one set of changes. We've got the speed balance on excellent, which is Fantastic downforce went the wrong way, so we need to go back to 15 and then maybe half that way. That should be good. Uh, yeah, we want to, we were good, we're still good. Uh, it's hard to say which one is going to be the right way, but let's maybe go right back to excellent there and see what happens. All right, we're going to stop it also similarly close, just okay on the downforce, but that's because we went the wrong way. Yeah, you were good. We can go 15 and a half as well. Now yeah, that's excellent. Ooh. Wait, that was great. This is good. No? Great. Only good. So it's got to go back the other way, just a little bit. Oh, that was good. This is great. Now we're going the right way. Yes. Okay. Uh, but I need the gear ratios to match. And how are we going to pull that off? Changing the tire camber. Sounds good. Okay. Speed through here. All right, so I was talking about an aggressive strategy that we were going to try in this race, and it's because of the distance. Oh, I forgot to hit bring in. Dang it. We're both getting an extra lap in. That's okay, I guess. We're getting closer to uh, the bonuses. Uh, we are getting close, getting close. 98%. So that was great. That was good. And we're back to great. I figure excellence probably in between. I probably went too far. So let's bring it back just a hair. We'll see if that fixes that or not. Uh, we'll get the race trim. Here is the aggressive strategy. I only brought the mandatory one set of medium tires. They're good for about 20 laps. It's a 22 lap race. There's not a zero stopper. It's not going to happen, especially for me, because that 20 really is only going to be 18 or 19. It's not enough to go the distance, which means I have to make at least one stop. So I wisely brought just three sets of softs and the rest all super softs. So I have two extra sets of super softs from what I normally have. And looking at the softs, I tend to get about one lap below the recommended minimum, which is 14 before I hit the cliff. So. 14 laps, that leaves 8 laps the rest of the way. And you double that, 28 is way more than what I need, but what did the super softs get? Well, here's that risky thing. If I try to go 22 laps on what's probably going to be about 10, probably not going to make it. I'm probably 2 laps shy if I try to go just super soft. So I think I'm going to go one set of softs, one set of super, so I'll probably start the race on softs finish race on supers, but here's the beautiful thing. Instead of having to put the bonus into the softs, yes, they can go 14 laps. Yes, the super softs can go 10, but that's 24. I only need 22, so I actually only need to get about 12 laps out of the softs, 
and then I could do 10 laps on the supers, or go 13 if they're running well enough, fast enough, and then go 9 on the super softs and be able to push both set of both sets of tires. Uh, so that push could uh, really help and put the bonus on the super softs, and we could be really fast on those super softs with that 30% bonus for the race trim and the tires. So this is the only one that I'm going to run in practice. That leaves me three sets for qualifying plus two sets of softs for qualifying if I need to make an extra run. Oh yes, Verstappen also very close. 96% though, he's got a little ways still to go. That was good, that was okay, so I think we need to go a little further for you. And we'll try that. And I'm gonna let them both run for a little bit here. Super soft tires, the bonus is done, but I still need that qualifying race trim bonuses. Actually down to eight minutes already and we're just hitting the level two bonus. They're both on their in lap. I have to get them both back out there. Yeah? Oh, he's on race trim, that's right. Okay. Uh, still not quite there, but are we better? Yes, 98%. So we'll add just a touch more downforce. Go to 16 degrees. And that should just about do it. Right, well, let's also add some fuel just to make sure we hit that level 3 bonus. We'll ride with Herda. He's got to go fast. Just now hitting more tires, 30%. He's run quite a few laps to get there as well. Herodon is in lap and just hit level 3 on the bonus. Max hit level 3 as well. So we get them both brought in. Make sure the setup's where we want it. Still not quite 100% here. It's so close. Uh, 97. Okay, so we went too far. So we go back here. And that was... So let's add... 15.7. Go I could actually just send them back out uh, to get feedback on that. Max, little ways to go. Pit road, there we go. Max coming in. There, okay, okay. We like those purple smiley faces. 99%, we'll take that. So he's done. Right with Colton as he uh, takes off, goes around. Uh, we'll bring him in just to have a look. I just don't know if we're going to get it in time. No. We'll see on qualifying. Uh, ooh, the handling dropped to uh, down the green. So we're going to have to make an adjustment there. And we might make a, an adjustment for qualifying for that. We got the downforce where we want it. Both of them middle, middle of the pack. And they didn't go hot lap until those tires were well used. We definitely didn't push at all either. Oh, super soft qualifying. Super soft qualifying. Okay, so ninety-eight. Wow, that is so marginal. so marginal that I don't think I can make that adjustment. So we're going to stick with 98. Oh, 
Alright, so on to qualifying. Nobody heading out onto the track. It's about a minute and a half. I can make more than one. Oh, there's going to be rain. There's going to be rain. There's going to be rain. We better get out there. Let's get out there. Let's get out there. Wondering if the soft tires. No, can't risk it. One set of tires. A few seconds apart. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Go. Because seconds are obviously that fast, right? All right, get them both out on track before the rain hits. We don't know if the rain's coming or going. Either way, there's not going to be grip, so. Colton on the auto. Max. On the curb straight. Into the chicane, which is a reversal of the real one, but it's okay. Through the rhythm section. Are right, those tires looking still cold? Still cold. Brakes are good though. Oh, I was just misread. I was looking at the wrong one on the map. Oh, just a hair cold, but that's really close to balance. Uh, both cars really close to the zone they need to be in. So, Colton, a little bit further up the road. Just went through Eau Rouge. Up the hill, through the chicane. Green first sector. Oh, of course green. Uh, but both of them, similar time for Sappen, just a hair slower than Herda at this point. Both of them a little over two tenths down. Gotta. Purple first sector. Sector two down just under half a second. Still making good time. Max is a little further down though. Max seven tenths of a second behind. Now I do want to get out of Q1. I don't want to get out of Q2 necessarily. Herda, third fastest of three. Now fourth fastest of four. Verstappen. So it's one second and 1.2. Diaz Sanchez is behind. There's one car. We need to beat five. Here's the rain already. So the rain is kicking off. Let's see how that weather is looking. We still only have the one car and the track is not going to dry out. So that is it. Those on times right now should be slower. It should be slower. Norris, purple in the first two, goes second fastest. We're still not beating anyone right now. What is going on? The track is damp. How are the times not slowing down? Valdez, first one a bit slower. Still, uh, no, please. No. Come on, Giovinazzi, go slow. Ooh, just enough. Both cars are going to escape Q1. The last three cars to go get the slowest three times. They are among the slowest cars to begin with. Harold, though, not a slow car, so it's going to be uh, disappointing for them. And even Giovinazzi, for that matter. The uh, Toro Rosso is one of the faster cars. Intermediates definitely aren't going to be faster, so that's why we were just rushing to the end of Q1. But we squeak through in P13 and P15. So, Carlo Gata goes fastest in Q1. Norris was close behind. Norris was purple in those first two sectors. It was raining by the time they hit the third sector, so uh, that could have been the reason why they weren't the quickest. So it's definitely between Mercedes and the Red Bull uh, for quickest right now, though Newgarden and the Ferrari not too far behind in third. Now my objective here but I would love the ideal position is 11th and 12th. Though, honestly, the Super Softs actually, they could make it. The Super Softs really could make it in this race. Uh, 
one set of softs, but I don't have the bonus, so I'd have to keep the bonus on these tires, and I don't necessarily want that. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on the weather. I'm going to speed things along, wait for there to be a little bit of track grip, because there is none. I'm going to save the other tires just in case we get to Q3. Said I'm already happy with where we're at because we're starting the top 15. Track's getting faster. Grip's picking up. Alright, let's go ahead and get Herda out there. Need to do a quick calculation. I think I need about 210, 215. So we'll go at 230. Boy, that's that. Too much risk. Let's go at 245. Maybe even three, just, just to be safe. <laughs> we'll go three minutes for max. So I need to keep an eye on this while I'm prepping Herda. Uh, I'll have to set him to auto partway through this lap. Nice clean track for Herda. Auto, Max, your turn, and here goes Max. All right, we got the tire temps up a ways, so hopefully Herda can manage from there. Brake temps are a little hot right now for him. Okay, Max through Orouge up the hill and into the heavy braking zone. Perfect and a little overheated. Colton. This rhythm section is really hard to uh, get the tire temps where you want them, but uh, we're close. Tire temps are perfect, brake temps a little overheated, so we should be in good shape. Now, Colton's a little further on as Max gets his lap underway. Two tenths of a second, that's closer than we were last time, but half a second down sector two, that's a little slow, and we're already looking at probably the outside of the top ten. 45 seconds, so there's not going to be any additional laps or anything like that. And Colton goes 12th fastest, 12th fastest. If he could hold that position, signs white sector one on a second lap here. Uh, Nakashida's already on an in lap, which means Nakashida's done. So there you go, Nakashida's out. Uh, how's Max doing? Seven tenths. That's actually slower than Herda already. So uh, I don't have to worry about Q3. That's good. Here comes Max. Can we get a little faster, though? I'd like you to be above Signs. Signs is green in Sector 2. Max, ah, uh, only 14th. At least it's not 15th. Signs, gotta watch out for you, though. Where are you at? Ah, Signs moves up to 11th. So that's going to be a starting position of P13 and P14 for the race. And like I mentioned before, Lando Norris was a little bit faster than it looked like. And sure enough, fastest in qualifying session number two for Lando Norris. So Sainz is out, Van Dorn is out, we are both out, and Nakashita. That's not bad. 13th and 14th, that's not a bad starting spot. Okay. Quick qualifying here, top 10 shootout, and the rain is on, are you kidding me? I don't, I am, I am not sure if by qualifying on intermediates, if that means the Q2 lockout, tire lockout, is going to be a thing or not, but Gata ends up on pole over Lando Norris, Leclerc, Ocon, big separation in time, some of the cars only intermediate times. So New Garden's down the order, Schumacher's down the order in 10th, uh, Margasov just 6th there. So, 
Now, the good thing here, Ocon, Bo Nordstrom, fourth and fifth. The good thing, hopefully, is they start on those used tires and drop down the order. I still have no idea how Force India, a.k.a. Racing Point, continues to pull out results and be so fast with the ninth quickest car. I think we are doing amazing things to be as competitive as we are with the eighth best car. How they are competitive at all is still beyond me because their drivers are good, but they're not as good as my drivers. So what are they doing to get so far up the road? It's definitely not pit crew. Mercedes has the best, I have the second best. So, super softs. Race trim. That's the bonus, that's the strategy. That's where we're going to push. It's a little less than 50% of the race, but I th I'm hoping that the pace bonus is going to be enough. Now, I don't want to start the race on these super softs. I'm going to come back to them. Uh, so, actually, car setup. I'm going to use the softs first, get them as far as I need them to go. I want to be quicker back half of the race than the front half. And as these have a little extra wear, I can push them a little bit harder to try to keep up. That's the plan, anyway. I've thought about going opposite, but it's okay. I, I, I think eventually we'll get enough space. It's only a two-second stop. It's not like you need a huge gap to double stack. Okay, they are still locked in. That is good. That is good. Margasov, uh, double used. Marilinen, double used. Those tires are toast. Softs for uh, Sainz, Van Dorn. Nakashita, Diaz Sanchez on the mediums. Valdez on the mediums. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Okay. I'm hoping this strategy can pay off. Oh, no. I didn't push. I didn't push. Uh, uh, uh. Push, push, push. Ooh, okay. There we go. Good start, good start. Hera gets away. Oh, Verstappen gets checked up behind Van Dorn. He gets around Van Dorn after a turn one, but the Renaults get by. Verstappen re-overtakes one of them, so that's P12 and P14 off the start. That's Newgarden in the... Used super softs in the Ferrari. Remember, he was to the back because of the rain in Q3. And we get around the Ferrari. That's P11, P14. Not a bad start. Not a bad start here. But Ferrari's going to get back around. He's got the move to the outside. We're still side by side. Back down to P12. But we are close to four cars just ahead. That's good. We're in race race pace wise. The softs are holding up with all these guys on the super softs. That's one lap in the books. Tire temps just getting up to temperature and Bo Nordstrom going backwards. Force India. Good. 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 That's Mick Schumacher. So we've got a Mercedes and a Ferrari just ahead of us and we're actually keeping pace with them. This is amazing that we have this kind of pace on the softs. Remember the bonuses are going to the super softs later in this race. So if we can hold pace here. Max Verstappen crashed. Max has crashed. He was just behind us there. Max has crashed. What the heck, Max? That was our high hopes for the race. Herder was off to the better start. He was only one spot ahead. Max is out of the race, and Margasov is pitting already. So running in 11th. Tire temps just passing the 50% mark in tire heating. So uh, we are we are looking good on the overheating issue. We might be able to just continually push and only have to back off for very short amounts. And that could 
potentially keep us right about where we're at positionally. Also, fuel burns not bad at all. We're pushing safety car, virtual safety car. Uh, ignore. Go ahead and go neutral. We don't want the tire temps to drop too much. Try to go conserve, I guess. But I don't want the the temperatures to drop too far. Definitely the fuel. 30 seconds. We're going to speed it up for a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. Wow, we sure didn't get much fuel back, but uh, we'll go back to pushing here. Three seconds. And we're at the perfect spot by Eau Rouge to push. Push, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Got to the inside track, got the inside track. There's the position. Oh, he's going to come back on us, though. No, we've got the inside on the other Force India of... Oh, it's Nordstrom again. How did Nordstrom get in front of us? Where, When and where did he pass us? That's P9, but there's Savannah getting back around. Savannah in the Toro Rosso, yes? Okay, so yes, this is the Toro Rosso's that we're battling with right now, along with Bo, Bo Nordstrom, where I have no idea how he got in front of us. We passed him. I never saw him go around, but yet he was in front of us. Four laps in the books. Now the tire temps are starting to heat up a little bit. Let's go to neutral. We'll keep the engine mode up though. We're still at just 0.07. Oh, no threats to condition so far. We haven't taken any damage or anything. We've got a very tight contest here. It would be very nice to get around these guys. Marilinen's slowing everybody up. He's going to have to pit this lap, probably. And is that exactly what he's doing? Yes, Marilinen's going to pit this lap. So he is definitely holding up the show. And meanwhile, boy, oh boy, we are nose to tail. Finally, there's one out of the way. That's P8 now, but we are still stuck behind Bo Nordstrom. Form's not great for Herda. Could be why he's struggling to get around Nordstrom. And that we're on softs and Nordstrom's on super softs. Nordstrom's going to have to pit before long. And outside of Carlos Sainz Jr., we have a real chance. Yellow. Oh, Mick Schumacher's out of the race and Diaz Sanchez is out of the race. That is three cars that have crashed out already in this race. Herda, tires just staying where they need to be. On heating, a little bit of ERS to defend there. He's trying to attack now. Let's open that lead back. Inside, nope. I'll cover. Once you get through through Eau Rouge, go ahead and attack. Attack, there you go. Come on. Ooh, ERS is gone just like that. We gotta look for a moment. We're up beside Nordstrom, but we can't get past him. It's definitely slow on our rate of progress. They're, these guys are all going to pit soon, so we will move up. But in the meantime, they are slowing me up somewhat. Now, if I'm getting this kind of pace now, imagine what's going to happen when I'm on super softs with the extra 15% bonus, and it's the grippier tire to begin with. We've been on neutral for a long time here. Renault trying to make a move. I use my ERS to defend, but now I have no ERS for this section. Up through Eau Rouge. Still in 7th place. Uh, no, now in 7th place. Savannah has pit and is fixing a part. So they are making some sort of correction here. And they are all the way down to last place. You can see just how close the field is. We're only 10 seconds behind Gata. And five of these cars are probably going to pit this lap. Let's see, we are getting close enough. Let's let's see. Gotta is pitting this lap. Leclerc will pit this lap. Ocon 
getting ready to pit. Signs is definitely not there yet. But New Garden? New Garden is going to go one more lap. Nordstrom is going. But there you go. Three cars have pit. And we are up into fourth place. Still right, be right behind Nordstrom. Nordstrom is really slowing us up. I might as well back off and save some fuel. Nordstrom's going to pit this lap. Wow, just like that we start dropping back. So that pushing was making a, a real difference apparently. Nakashita behind us is on medium tires. They're going to be running for a while. So I've got a threat from the Renault. The other Renault has crashed out though, so that's good for us. Of course, Verstappen's out, so that's terrible for us. Nordstrom fixing the part. Yes, he'll be in there a while. Newgarden. Newgarden pitting as well. Nordstrom still in. Still in. Yes, still in. Nordstrom's out of contention. Giovinazzi's still got a pit from fourth place, but we are up into second, four seconds off the pace. Let's see how we are doing compared to signs for now. We've still got to run at least two laps on these tires, and that shouldn't be a problem. We'll see about three. I'm going to keep pushing for now, though. We'll save fuel after we go on to the super softs. That should be, could be faster. It's going to stay dry for the rest of the race. Max absolutely destroyed the car. Sad thing is that's also going to take longer to repair after the race and hold us up quite a bit in our preparations for the next race. 34%. 34% here. Let's speed it up for a little bit. We're not going anywhere. 32%. Worn tires. Now 30%. It's lap 12. I wanted to get 13 if I can. Can I get one more? We're at 26%. Yes, yeah, so we can get one more. We'll get one more. This tire wear has been kind of bad. These tires should be going 15. A little bit of ERS. Okay, we're at 25%. Okay, super softs. Super softs. Good, good, good. Car's in good shape. Car's in good shape. Now, we're going to attack, but we're not going to attack until we get to 20, because we're going to hit that cliff. So, once I hit the cliff, then we'll push and give them whatever they've got. For now, the pace is still okay. Twenty-one percent. Twenty. Okay, and we're going to fall off that cliff, and we're going to suddenly start losing time. So we're going to attack as soon as we come out of the chicane. I don't want to wreck here like our teammate did. There we go, difficult corner. Now we attack, attack, attack. It's a little ERS. Ooh, Signs is pitting as well. Signs is pitting as well, so we went the exact same distance he did. Down to sixth. Oh, a mistake on the right rear! We didn't even push! That wasn't push, that was just a normal stop. Oh, so unfortunate. Uh, go ahead and push for a little bit. We'll put the fuel down. Extra four seconds in the pit stop, and we're out in 14th. Oh, man, that is devastating. Five seconds, right? And we're right there, right at the edge of the points. Most of these guys are going to go the distance. Margasov looks like they're going to have to pit again. Fuoku's still got a pit, but that's only two spots. We should be three positions higher than we are. Two spots would at least put us into ninth. And we're going to be fast the rest of the way and could be, should be competitive, but it's going to be a lot more difficult now. Speed things up for a little bit. 
it's quiet time. We gotta rest the tires. Gotta get some fuel back. Lap 15, we got two cars in the pits. I'd like to get out ahead of them. Good. Up to 12th. Up to 12th. The two that I was talking about both pit. Marcus off, Fuoku have pit. Fuoku's fixing a problem. They're out of contention. I'm the only car on the track on Super Softs. I could be the fastest one out there for the next little while. Flap 16. Finally back to neutral on the fuel. Not going to start pushing yet. Flap 17. Tires starting to overheat. They're right on the edge. Back off and push there. Want to make sure those tire temps stay down. Slap 17 now. We are catching up slightly, just slightly, to Giovinazzi. Uh, we got another pit. Valdez is pitting. Valdez is pitting. That's P11. Just outside of the points. We're going to use some ERS this time. There we go. And we are catching slowly Giovinazzi. Marilinen looks like they're going to have to pit. Nakashita and Harrell still have to pit. We'll come out ahead of it. They'll come out behind me, I mean. There's still a few positions up for grabs, plus whatever I can do with pure pace which isn't much. I've only gained a few tenths of a second on Giovinazzi. But I've also been on conserve here for quite a while. Let's go back to neutral. Oh, we've got three cars in the pits right now. Three cars in the pits. There's the Renault. And we are out ahead of them, up to P8. P8 now. That is beautiful. Okay, we are back in the points. And I think we're going to stay there. Now, is there anybody else? Norris could pit. Leclerc could pit. Ocon could pit. Gata could pit. Probably not. But they could get slower. If Gata slows down, we could, we could pass a Red Bull. Ocon, Force India in fourth place. How is Force India always there? He better pit. I need him to pit. Nakashita's into the points. But we're higher. And we are closing down Giovinazzi. We're less than a second behind now. ERS pushing through Eau Rouge. There he is. Getting closer. Getting closer. He's closed up on Giovinazzi. He's trying to get away, but he's using his ERS in the wrong place. It's not doing it much good. Didn't really open him up any sort of gap. Just seven tenths of a second behind now. If I can get that one position, if I can get you know one more car, two more cars to pit, we could be up to fifth place. Two laps remaining. Lando Norris is pitting from the race lead. He's coming back out. He is coming back out. Push, push. And we're in front of him. We are in front of Lando Norris. Through a rouge. Pace was a little slow that lap, but uh, we've closed Giovinazzi right down. Now we've got to worry about in front and behind. Two laps. I have plenty of tire wear, but I don't want the overheating yet. Uh-oh. 0.01. <laughs> uh, uh, Leclerc has retired from this race we just passed Leclerc Leclerc has got a blown engine 6th place 6th place we're coming up on 1 lap to go coming up 1 lap to go we're going to push still ahead of the Mercedes but here he comes here he comes uh, can we hold him off push and get it back Right there. Can you get past Giovinazzi and, and us follow through? It's about our only chance right now. 
Okay, we're starting to get into the hot zone. 33% on the wear, but it's the final lap. We've got just enough to push for a little while. We've got to keep an eye out, though. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes, come on, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Little ERS here, come on. Overtake, overtake. Into sixth place! Into sixth place! Across the line, yes, sixth place. We got Giovinazzi on the final lap. He retook us right after the line. Ocon hung on for fourth place. Look at that. Zero tire wear. Zero. And still there. Lando Norris got us, but we got Giovinazzi in the end. We had Van Doren coming up fast behind, but we held him off. But I don't know how Ocon held on to fourth place in that race. So it's Joseph Newgarden with the win. Carlos Sainz Jr. claims second place. That's a good result. That's some good points right there. We'll see how that shakes things up. Force India has got big points. Williams has big points. Ooh, second and ninth for Williams. Joseph Newgarden does not win the race. Joseph Newgarden has been demoted six places after breaking the rules from the win to seventh. Colton Herita inherits fifth place. Look how close that was. One and a half seconds behind Lando Norris. Ocon ends up with a podium. That is insane. So Williams, Carlos Sainz Jr., claim the win. Hard to believe after how things have gone in real life for them, but hey, Williams used to always be here. And enough years down the road, it could happen. And here it is, Williams with the win. Force India in third. We've got fifth. Tarasso in sixth. Imagine what could have been if Max had not crashed. He was right there with Colton. Could it have been 5th, 6th, 5th, 7th? Either way, that would have been a lot more points. But 10 points, that's still pretty good. That is still pretty good. Bad day for Max, though, as he stays in 7th. Colton now up to 14th place with 38 points. So he got the job done with the absence of the team leader. We're in 6th place, 105 points. No change in the standings. Red Bull on top. Mercedes is 2nd. Force India, third place above Ferrari. Ferrari's had their problems, and I get it, but Force India, it's incredible how they keep getting results with the ninth best car. Williams, Williams is just above us, and we're only 14 points down, so that's pretty good. And we are now starting to put some pretty good distance between us and McLaren and Toro Rosso. And I think Renault, we can consider them out as we are now two-thirds of the way through the season. And we are well over double their score. So I don't think Renault is going to put together a whole lot more in terms of points. Prima is definitely beyond reach. Uh, Toro Rosso, 43 points. I don't know if we're clear yet. Uh, you know, half of what they have right now is 31. So at the rate they're going, they would score 93 at the end of the season. So Toro Rosso should be far enough back that we're in the clear for a top seven finish. Williams, it's just 14 points. Maybe. Ferrari, I don't think I have the pace really to keep up with Ferrari, but they've had their problems, so maybe. But 105 points, that's a good place to be in. I'm happy with that. Uh, it's nice to break that 100 threshold as well. It doesn't mean anything, but... It means something inside, right? Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode on Decathlon Gamer. And remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe and tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.